For this question, we notice that there is no graph. So we chop, jump right into reading it. Which of the following may be determined from a speed time graph? Well, let's draw our picture and do our oizerga. So we've got a speed time graph, oizerga. So the origin in this case doesn't really matter because it's not context specific, so we don't need to deal with that. Y-axis, X-axis, intercepts. Well, let's see. If there is an intercept on the Y-axis, any intercept would be equal to uh, would be equal to the V zero, um, and the any x-intercept would be equal to the time at which v equals zero. So that's just things to know. What can we read from this graph? The axes, which are v and t, the slope, which is delta v over delta t, which is the acceleration, and the area delta v times delta t meters per second times seconds is meters. So that is the displacement delta x. So displacement, that looks like our answer right away. Uh, distance, distance and displacement. So that's a curious, curious uh, point here because if this were a speed graph, well then speed times time is different distance. Uh, power and force are out. So the question is, the distance and displacement. Now, if this question had said velocity time, then there's no doubt that it would be the displacement. So this question really is looking at the distinction between distance and displacement and speed and velocity. So the best answer in this case is distance because they're talking about speed.